It is Wednesday, the sixth day of February 2019. Hello there and welcome to News Tonight. First though, let's have a look at what's making headlines at this hour. In our news tonight, UPDF marks 38 years of service. Opposition unanimously present electoral reforms. Welcome once again, Mohamed Mugalu is on sign language and I am Edward Rukidi Kijanangoma. We are coming to you live on air from Broadcast House here on Nile Avenue. Now, th President Yori Kaguta um, 70 has described the new anti-mosquito paint as a smart solution in efforts to eradicate malaria infections in the country. Now, the president made the remarks yesterday at Kampala Serena International Conference Hall during a dinner where he launched the Kansai Plascon anti-mosquito paint. Now, the paint that has been approved by the National Drug Authority and NEMA, among others, has got the capacity to control mosquitoes for a period of two years. Now, the launch followed a tour he made earlier at the factory in the Namavi Industrial Business Park in Kampala. The launching ceremony was attended by, among others, the Vice President uh, of Sudan, Osman Mohamed Yusuf. Now, President uh, Museveni noted that Ugandan scientists have developed levacites uh, to kill mosquitoes in water. He thanked the Vice President of Kasai Plaskon, Dr. Kalpana Abe, uh, for leading uh, the role in the development of the paint. The president also thanked the Japanese government for supporting Uganda, especially in the construction of the Jinja Bridge and Nimule Road in northern Uganda. He urged Ugandans to use the paint that has been approved by various agencies, both locally and abroad. The State Minister for Health, Sarah Opendi, revealed that Uganda has been struggling to ensure that it is free from malaria. She said that 10 districts have been using residual spray to control malaria together with treated mosquito nets. She observed that Uganda has had the sixth highest malaria burden in the world. And she revealed that 40% of in-hospital deaths result from malaria infections. She said that government has a target for a complete reduction in malaria incidents by 2020 adding that the global target is to eradicate the disease by 2030. The vice president of Kasai Plascon Japan, Dr. Kalpana Abe, uh, said that uh, mosquitoes cause the largest number of deaths. She revealed that her company made uh, the first launch of the anti-mosquito uh, paint in Zambia in October 2018. Now, the Japanese embassy deputy head of mission in Uganda, Mizumoto Hori, has said that his government attaches a lot of importance to lives in Africa. He said that they were committed in efforts to work with Uganda in promoting good health. Now, of course, on your screen, those are the pictures uh, uh, from last night's uh, event uh, where you can see the state minister there uh, for health, General Duty Sarah Opendi, giving her speech there. And we do hope that uh, that uh, paint will actually help in eradicating uh, malaria in the country by the year 2030. And of course, we have, uh, uh, we have been uh, told that it is uh, good for human consumption. So all the health uh, issues and questions related to it can actually be arrested. Now, the United Nations High Commission for Refugees in 